Hey guys, this is Tiamat Ruler back with my final episode, or what should be my final episode of my Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Hex Lock. Um, we are going to be going on to take on the Elite Four. You should have just seen a huge, long, grinding montage that took me two and a half hours to record. And I have a guest with me today that has been in three of my episodes so far. So this will be her third. So you know who she is. It's a wild chikorita. She may not be too active, too active, too talkative because she is. Um, she is. Um, what are King got some graphics? Yes, but I'm gonna go through a party update. I have Weave Wrath the Weavile with Poison Jab, Avalanche, Night Slash, and Shadow Claw. Gluttony the Huntail with Surf, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Waterfall. Um, Sloth the Giratina with Earthquake, Ancient Power, Dragon Pulse, and Shadow Force. Envy the Yonmega with Night Slash, Air Slash, Bug Buzz, and Steel Wing. Would be kind of cool if it had all Slash moves, but... Um, Pride the Kangaskhan with Crunch, Fake Out, Drain Punch, and Rock Slide. And Tay the Meganium with Return, Body Slam, Pedal Dance, and Grass Knot. I don't know if this is a little biased, but I'm going to go ahead and say that Meganium is probably your uh, your best bet at winning this. You think so? Yeah. Even though it's it's got a lack of type coverage? You know, beauty wins all, man. <laughs> Hold it! Don't go off without me! You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here, too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge... Something with the battle. Something. I didn't read it correctly. Anyways. I'm not staying in there for that. Um, I fully expect... Um, because... No, I would normally stay in with an ice type move, but it's a Star Raptor. So Star Raptors always scare me to begin with. That's because Star Raptor is a big boss, man. That's why it's like my number like three favorite Pokemon of all time. No, I'm that's a lie. It's like my number of two favorite Pokemon. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Sloth and use Ancient Power. There you go. That'll be a good move. Okay, Star Raptor is gone. Floatzel. Well, we know who we're switching in for that. Mm -hmm. There goes Tay, and I'm gonna use Grass Knot. Goodbye, Floatzel. Rose Raid. I know who I'm switching into for that. Go Envy. Air Slash. Goodbye, Rose Raid. Snorlax. I'm going to go ahead and switch into Pride for Snorlax. And I use Drain Punch. Goodbye, Snorlax. Heracross. I'm going to go switch back into Envy. And use Air Slash. <laughs> and Agron. Agron's going to be the tricky one. Ooh, that's a threat. It is. I'm going to switch back into Pride. It's a level 51 Agron. I'm going to go ahead and first off, I'm going to fake it out. Uh, use Protect on my fake out. Whatever. Drain Punch. Ow, that Iron Tail did a lot of damage. Drain Punch. Give me some of that health back. Ah, I defeated him. Yay. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it. You watch, though. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League because I'm going to become the champion, the toughest trainer. Tiamat, you better not lose to anyone before me. So you want me to become the champion before you do? <laughs> I mean, that's what he just pretty much told me. I'm going over here to heal now. And you know what I realized I didn't do? I didn't buy items. Um, Nathan. I did in earlier, but... I used some while training. I'm trying to decide if I want to... I think I have enough hyper potions. I want some more super potions because they're really nice for between battles when you just have that little bit of damage and you don't want to use a super hyper potion, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, I, I get what you mean. Anyways, that's enough. That's all I needed. Let, 
Let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So, let us examine the gym badges you gathered from Sinnoh. Well, I wouldn't be here if I didn't because I can't use Waterfall without the last gym badge, you dick. <laughs> Orberg City Coal Badge, Eternus City's Forest Badge, Heart Home City's Relic Badge, Veilstone City's Cobble Badge, Pastoria City's Fen Badge, Camelov City's Mine Badge, Snowpoint City's Icicle Badge, and Sunny Sword Sheeter... Sunny... Sunny Shore Shitties, <laughs> is what I almost said. Beacon Badge. Children, cover Very your well. ears. Trainer, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. All right. This is what is going to be... I'm actually going to... What I'm going to do is go to my Pokemon and switch pride into the front just because pride is a very easy go-to pokemon if that makes any sense and it's my second favorite so you know oh your second favorite i figured it'd be your first kangaskhan yeah out of i mean my my second favorite pokemon in general kangaskhan is oh okay i thought you meant like in this this lot no, it's, it's my favorite on my team yes oh, okay but we start out with what is normally a bug type trainer Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Eren of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. I totally made a really weird accent for him. I don't know what I was doing. He sounded there. a little fancy. He has a ghost. Oh, okay. Ghost team, which, I mean, crunch. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, oh, Spiritomb, though. That's... Oh, wait, I know exactly what I'm doing, because if I remember correctly, I'm going to go check. Am I Scrappy? I am Scrappy. So I'm going to trick her here, and I'm going to go, or trick him here and go for Drain Punch. Goodbye. Oh, that didn't... Okay, I thought it would still be super effective, but apparently it's not, because it's a dark type, too. But apparently it's not, but whatever, it took it out pretty quickly. Baynet, that I'm going to switch for. I'm going to switch to Weavile, just because it's going to be easier to take him out with the dark type Pokemon. <laughs> Dust Noir. You, the dark type Pokemon using a dark type move, I mean. Yeah, no, I get what you mean. I was told that I had one person tell me to train from between level 57 and 60, and one person to tell me to train from level 60 to 62. So I took it right in the middle and trained to 60. So if this is too easy for these earlier guys, I'm sorry, but I did what people told me to do, so. He's not sorry. I mean, I, I want to win, but, I mean, it seems like this team was certainly easy, but it may just be my team members, you know, that sometimes happens. I lost with the most beautiful po- I, I totally switched, changed his voice. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it again, honestly. Mm. I, I lost with the most beautiful Pokemon and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. I think I did pretty good of trying to recreate my voice anyways. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Um... Next person is a lady. She looks pretty old. What are you prejudiced against old ladies, Nathan? I'm, I'm gonna have you you read her dialogue since you're 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 a lady. <sighs> I suppose, no, I'm just kidding. I've read the lady dialogue um, before. And this is Bertha. Can I be Bertha? I'm gonna read yes, an this old. Is, this is, this is Bertha. I'm gonna read an old woman voice. All right. I don't think I took any damage during that either. That was awesome. Anyways. Nice. Whoa! Well, that's a really bad. I hope I don't sound like that when I'm an old boy. <laughs> You're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Ah, I'm Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like a fat lady. <laughs> <laughs> I have a preference for ground type Pokemon. Are you sure? Am Keep I going. sure what? But ground type Pokemon. Oh yeah. Well, wouldn't you show this old lady how much you've learned? I was hoping there was going to be another line. I was quite enjoying that. A Fine, mock. Bertha. A mock. Muck. 
Mucky muck muck. Yeah, that's not a ground type Pokemon. She lied. She did. She I'm did. She sorry, lied. sonny boy. Got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> oh my god, fuck you. Okay, I'm done already with this. <laughs> this healing. Sloth, go. Earthquake. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I like how Giratina's wings don't even have an outline. They're just kind of like gray blobs. <laughs> Drapion, okay, I, I'm definitely keeping this in for this because it's only got one weakness, so. Toxic Spike, now you don't want me to switch. Uh. Crobat, okay, that's, I mean, I'm gonna have to switch, fuck. You're gonna have to risk the poison, that sucks. Oh wait, no, nope, I'm not. I'm gonna stay in. Ancient power. Oh, hi. Normally, I probably wouldn't try to use Giratina so early. Ooh, a Tentacruel. I'm going to stay in, though. Just those toxic spikes, man. They force you to, because I wouldn't switch either. But, I'm st well, I'm also staying in because it's my only Pokemon with the ground-type move. Ooh, this this is a bit different. Bow, please. I don't, I think grass is resistant to ground. I'm not sure. Okay. You know what, I'm going to stay in because it's not like I'm going to risk being... Um, I have I have to pay attention just to make sure that birth birth is. In. I like how Vilepool looks like he's falling over. Like what is he? It tripping? does. And then he just fell into the ground. You see that he fainted. Yes. So oh yes, yeah, skipped her dialogue. I was. Oh, gonna... I'm sorry. Yeah, quite something, Mister. Mister. Youngster, <laughs> shut up! I make my own words. <laughs> okay. I like how you and your Pokemon earn the win by working as one. I don't know what I just did there. That's what makes either. you so strong. I think I'm just kind of making on my own voice at this point. You can go ahead. <laughs> uh ha ha. <laughs> I think that you can go as far as you want. <laughs> Bertha had a sex change halfway through our battle. Oh, uh, uh, Bertha, nice to meet you. Welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How <laughs> I'm gonna see if I need to heal oh, super potion. I think I did get yeah. See that that's what I get super potions for. Just that minimal amount of damage that you don't really want to use a hyper potion for. Like yeah. You wanna be fully healed for the next battle, if that makes sense. That's why I love um, fresh waters and moo moo milks. Yeah. This is the fire type gym. This is what I've what's his name? I don't even remember. Flint. Oh. Yo, trainer! You had me counting the days on my fingers. I really weird, said that weird. You had me counting the days on my fingers, waiting for you to come. I heard from Vaultner that you, what you did in Sunny Shore, you managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? You're facing a fire type Pokemon user with me. Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. Dun, 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 dun. That's, that is that is not a fire type. Pokemon, <laughs> I think they're very bad at matching their types in this game. I, I think they are, but I have the perfect Pokemon for this. Oh, wow, that did a lot more damage than I expected, but you know what? Air Slash, goodbye. Goodbye. Speed boost. Primate, no. Air Slash, goodbye. Nope. <laughs> at, least it's, at least it's not... The actual Diamond and Pearl games where he says is a fire type user and has a Lopany on his team. Yeah, that's true. Machamp, nope. Air Slash. Just one hit all these guys with Air Slash because <laughs> I have the Pokemon that have the super effective types. Oh, uh, seriously? Two Machamps? That's a little OP. I like how you just powered through those. They didn't even attack you. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, it lived! Full restore. Ah, uh, you're use right. The use the... Oh, I was going to say use the turn to heal up. It's not like it's going to matter. Yeah. Well, I just don't want it to land a crit on you and you lose envy because that would suck. That would suck. Like, a lot. I'm actually going to go ahead and use... No, I'm just going to use air slash make sure I kill it off. 
Oh, I skipped his dialogue. I, I always end up skipping through that last dialogue. It just speeds by so fast when I'm using the speed up button. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be using the speed up button anyways because it's Elite Four, but I forget sometimes. You can't help it. Once you're used to it, you just kind of hit it. It's like a it's like habit. That was a lot of dots in a row, Flint. That was like six lines of three dots. Well, you know, picture it. He's just sitting there going dot, 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 Woo! Burnt right down to cinders. Really? That's all you have to say? What? Now he just kick him in the fire. Keep going. Uh, can I... I kick you in the fire, dude? <laughs> keep, keep going. There's nothing left for me now. Then he jumps into the fire. Okay, this guy's normally a psychic type user, if I'm correct. I'm gonna go ahead and. You know up. what? It just took me to now to realize again, even though you've told me that the types are changed. Yeah. I keep forgetting that you said it like that. Ah, oh, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lucian. I'm, I am a user of the psychic type. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be, an out, be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. <laughs> that? That was... Reputation. <laughs> what was like the last line? This is not Psychic Dive Pokemon. This like... would be Elfire. Although Ninetales, I could see as a Psychic type or a Ghost type, as well as Fire, but it's not. I'm gonna go use Rock Slide, and that didn't kill it. Oh fuck! You're confused, Ray. And then watch for that Fuller Store. Ah, uh, maybe not, cause you're yellow. Whatever. I'm switching to Gluttony. Good turn of the good use of that m turn. Oh my God! Stop it! Stop! Oh, you snapped out of confusion. Already? Yeah. Nice, Blaziken. Ooh. I'm kind of worried about this one, but. I think hey, chicken I be legs. Fine. Yeah, Brave Bird didn't do anything to me. Plus, that little recoil probably helped you out. Another Blaziken. Uh, really? I'm gonna go ahead and go into my bag here, and just to be safe, because I'm like... You don't want to take a crit? I, I don't. Okay, yeah, he should I, be good. I should be good. Is, unless he crits, but he didn't. You're Those good. brave birds are annoying. Like, you don't expect Blaziken to use brave bird. I mean, really? Yeah, right. I'm going to switch for this purely for the fact that Rock Slide is going to do more damage. Because it's going to be four times effective. Yeah, she's flying. There you go, Andy leveled up. What? Another Blaziken? <laughs> Did they just like run out of fire type Pokemon? I would have given them like a Houndoom and like a Magmar. Or... See, I, oh. at this point, I want to switch into Envy. Because it's a flying type Pokemon and it has Air Slash, but I don't because it's a bug type Pokemon and it would get wrecked. I just enjoy the amount of Pokemon that Meganium has taken out in this battle. <laughs> none. <laughs> Wait, none. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that one did a lot more damage. I think he, are you faster? I don't think so, because I wasn't faster than the other ones. Hmm. Think, 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 think. I mean, you could take another one, it's just whether or not it would be a crit. Yeah, that's my worry. I always worry about that. I'm going to go to Sloth, because it's not going to do too much damage to sloth and it can't use fighting types on me yeah and i know i i'm just gonna use uh, that didn't do as much as i oh but i got my the stat raises i'm gonna use earthquake goodbye <laughs> bye bye third blaziken you cheater no kidding seriously blaziken's like op oh i didn't read his dialogue i am sorry guys i'm gonna start reading his dialogue from here i just kind of started going through it I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. I don't remember. 
Who's the who's the champion of this game? I don't remember. Cynthia. Oh, duh. I knew has, that. Uh, I lied. Has a Lucario and a Garchomp. And the Spear Normally, Tomb. And a Spear Tomb. By far, probably one of the hardest Elite Four members. Or champions. We'll, we'll, Actually, we'll she probably is the hardest champion. We'll find out what she's like. This time. You can take her on a date. What do you mean? You said you're going to find out what she's like. Yeah, what, like what Pokemon she has. Oh, it's, your, it's you. Hmm, what kind of girl voice do I want to give her? <laughs> Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet and for the Distortion World. I am truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you... Overcame all the... Oh, faced. However difficult. It means that you've tried... Or you've triumphed, triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon Ch League champion, I accept your challenge. Dun, 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 I first figured dun, I would sound dun, dun, like dun, 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 just like a computer or like a telemarketer when you call someone's house. Like a. That's what I gave her. Ooh, so it looks like she's going to be ice? Or ground. Could be ice or ground. Drain punch. I'm thinking it could. it's probably going to be ice. Oh my goodness. Goodness. Just use another drain punch. Get a little bit of health back. That's true. Oh, what were that? I'm going to... Oh. Oh, or ground type. That. Um, I don't know what to do now. Meganium. Meganium. <laughs> you really want me to use Meganium, don't you? The problem is it's an it's a poison type too. Oh yeah, that's true. And so true. grass won't do anything to it really. That's true. Okay. I Wait. believe I'm gonna check summer real quick. This guy has oh I thought it had levitate, but it doesn't. I thought for some reason I thought Giratina had levitate. What does he have? Pressure. Oh. Of course. Which, like half the legends have pressure for their main I, yeah. I don't even remember what it does. It, uh, the Pokemon raises the foe's PP usage, so like it uses two PP at once instead of one. Oh. Um. Nidoqueen queens scare me too because I've had a close call with a Nidoqueen queen in this series, and I really don't want to lose Pride, but Pride's pretty defensive anyways. I'm going to go ahead and crunch. Okay, you and took that pretty bad. well. I expected an earth. Well, I don't know why I expected an earthquake. They're physical. They're special. How much is Drain Punch going to do? Mm. I don't know. We'll find out. Not uh, no. very much. I was hoping maybe you could just do a, like a decent just to get back a little bit, but it didn't really work. Now I only have two drain punches left. Oh my god! That scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I would switch. <laughs> now that I know it has superpower, um, yeah. <laughs> that was a crit. Goodbye. I'm done dealing with you. <laughs> Hyloswine. Do I have anybody else who'd be good? I don't really have anybody else. Not Meganium against Ice. Not Envy against Ice. The issue I have with Gluttony is it's not very fast and it's very frail. Yeah. But it do it hits pretty hard. It would probably be able to take out a Pyloswine with a with a, with a water type move. But, well, it is ice, though, so... Yeah, ice doesn't... Ice isn't resistant to water. Oh, it's not? Okay. No. But if, it, if like, the Pylos one got an earthquake off, Gluttony would probably be dead. I can probably guarantee that. Well, I mean, if you look at it this way, it is the champion. I know you don't want to lose anyone, but, I mean, you could just take, take the risk since it is the last battle. I know. I'm just being... I'm the cautious type. I'm trying to decide. Oh, I know. 
And we've kind of flown through this faster than I expected. So, yeah. not my fault people told me to level to 60, so... Um, well, I mean, and I mean, that Nitto Queen that you just faced was level fifty-eight, so sixty was probably fine. I'm gonna switch back into Pride and then heal because of Drain Punch. Oh my God! Well, I'm gonna go first for sure. Yeah, there's no way you're faster or slower than that thing. Oh, there it's you the go. same pile of swine that was out. Yeah. Steelix. I have a feel. Steelix is ground steel. So that's another one where I don't want to send out ice type because steel is good against ice. I don't. I don't know what's good against steel besides. Fighting, fire. Yeah, besides fire. Ground. I guess just use Earthquake with Sloth. I didn't want to use Giratina that much because it's my legend, but it has Earthquake. Yeah. And Earthquake seems to be super useful in this. I'm just saying, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. That didn't do anything. Wow. Well. Well, I guess I'm going to have to try to use up my earthquakes and see what they do. Oh my god. He got the HP, or the, uh, he got the defense drop. I say he'll probably heal this round too, so he could probably heal. You mean shill? Yeah. Oh, she didn't. And that crunch is going to be, is super effective. That's why it's doing so much. You should get him right there. There okay. you go. Garchomp. Okay, this is Wrath's moment to shine. If it outspeeds. If not, I'm going to lose a Pokemon. But this is where I think I should have. This is this is the moment I was thinking I should have put Focus Band on Wrath. Yeah. Because it would have hit me. I would have lived if it hit me hard. And then... Um, and then I would have used Avalanche afterwards, and it would have been done. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, completely randomized, Cynthia still ends up having a Garchomp. Oh yeah, that is kind of funny, actually. Because it, she got ground type. I don't know, I mean, I'm sure it's just happened that way. I don't, I know I randomized everything, but there's been some things that didn't seem to actually randomize. <laughs> So I don't know if, like, I don't know about how, how my Giratina worked. I don't know if it just happened to randomize as a Giratina. That's completely possible. But we're going to go for... Oh, my God, oh, yes! Oh, you lived... Yes! Wrath, yes. look at that. Look at Wrath. Go man. Wrath. Look at Wrath. Put in that work. That's awesome. That was scary because Wrath is not... Wrath and Gluttony are both, like... Can, Frail. Are, Frail uh, can, as can all get out. Like, I've had some extremely close calls with both of them. Like that one, but that was... That was epic. Awesome. I really want to get Tay out there, but I don't want it to... You know what, well, I don't think... I mean, honestly, do you think Nidoqueen will have a Poison-type move? Probably not. I'm just going to use Grass Knot. Oh, nope, it's going to have Mega Horn, though. Fuck. Me, not keeping that in after that. Aww. Mega At least I, I had a moment to shine. That's Mega all. horn? You, you want me to keep it in against Mega horn? You want Tay to die? No. <laughs> not exactly what I thought. Now I have to figure out who I'm going to send out against it. We'll see. What'd you do to the Nitto Queen? You just earthquaked it? Yeah. And I don't have any earthquakes left. So... Since I know it's probably going to have a ground-type move like Earthquake, Envy won't be affected by that, and Megahorn is probably not going to do shit to Envy. Yeah, that's probably your... Alright. So, yeah, see? That did nothing. 
So I just take it down as much as he can with that. Um, I'm trying to decide what move I should use. I'm thinking Air Slash, because I think Air Slash has a chance to... Okay, well, that still didn't kill me. And I haven't had a chance to use... I'm going to use Bug Buzz just because I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Torterra. Now, see, this would be one of those chances where I'd be like Wrath all over again, but I'm not going to be. I'm going to go with Envy, and my starter is probably going to finish this, finish this off. That's pretty cool, though. Because... It's a grass type, it's a ground type. It's not going to be able to use its ground type moves. Well, it will, but it's... I'm going to heal, though, because I'm not going to risk... Getting hit with something you don't know. Yeah, Crunch isn't going to do anything to me because I'm a bug type. So I'm going to use Air Slash. One hit! It was a crit. It was a crit? Yeah. Uh, I skipped through her dialogue again. But there you go. Yon Mega, starter, finished off the series for me right there last battle everybody got a little bit of shine in that battle except for gluttony unfortunately gluttony just didn't get his chance because he probably could have taken on or tay tay got a get tay we tay battled once. one move at least it got more battle time than gluttony did uh-uh -uh. yeah you... did. no you had him out there for like three turns gluttony what did yeah. i use it against that's Huntail, right? Yeah. You used it... Oh, maybe not against Cynthia. Yeah. No, I mean, in, I didn't think I used it in all any of the Elite Four. Yeah, battles, you did. did you, you killed someone with it. Oh, yep, I did. I killed, nine I killed Fire-type Pokemon with it. Yep. You're right. So, unfortunately, Meganium didn't get much use, but it just happened that way. If, they, if like, if Cynthia had, a, all, had had a pure Ground-type Pokemon... Oh, yeah, I would have used Meganium, no issue. Oh, yeah. And everything was either poison. Poison or ice or yeah. dragon. I mean, I probably could have used Meganium there, but Wrath, I, I knew if she had a guard, if there was a guard chomp or something like that, that was going to be Wrath's turn. Oh, yeah. No, and that's bad. As long as he used him wa her if, once. If Wrath, hadn't, if Wrath had gotten knocked out there, I probably would have used Meganium or it Huntail because Huntail has Ice Fang. Anyways, you can read your dialogue. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power. Sure, you did a country accent. I'm just kidding. You guided them with certainty to secure a victory. You have both compassion, or not compassion, you have both passion and calculated Calculating coolness. God, I cannot read. Why do you let me do this? <laughs> Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge. Uh, that may come your way. <laughs> That's what uh, happens to me, too. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in crowning the Sinnoh's new champion. Me. Just kidding. Come with me. We'll take the lift. Done. You don't Done. even give me a... You don't come with me. You said we'll take the lift. I was gonna say, man, she just ditched you. <laughs> she did. She's like, we'll take the lift. And then just... Oh, and then she just walks behind you. She just flew up there. Did. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. And then just this fool comes out of nowhere. Tiamat, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. A child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Tiamat, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? <laughs> your? Team at step this way, please. Professor Rowan, please join us. Why did he step first? Oh, he asked oh. him second. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If, if your last time here was when I became champion, then yes. That would be a long time ago. Tiamat, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. Uh, what you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. 
It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make permanent record of your achievement. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, really? That was it? It's like they just done, 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 done? Oh, okay. It's showing the... I skipped through some of them. Whoops. My starter. And I've grown to love Yon Mega quite a bit more than I did before because of this. That's good, because Yon Mega is a boss. Um, the one thing I don't like it is it doesn't learn any good moves until, like, in its 50s. Yeah. Yeah. I do agree with that. Oh, yeah, beautiful I, party, I though. I kind of hate how Yon Mega's wing is kind of shoved in Meganium's face there, but... <laughs> <I know. laughs> well, and then, like... And poor you're Weasel in... is, like, shoved uh, behind your in the back, yeah. <laughs> I guess like that kind of fits off. Weavile's character, though. It looks like he's trying to, like, hold on to Giratina's tail. Yeah, it does. But it's beautiful. It Good is. job. Is there anything else after this, or does it just save and... Oh, I don't know, buddy. Not, it's... Okay. This is the issue I had with this at some point in the series, is that it would not actually save and keep saving... It just, it just sticks on this stops right there. Like it, it was saving for a while for perfect perfectly. And then like halfway through the series, it would not save. And thankfully what I do when I save is I make save states first because if I had, I would have had to re-record that episode when it started because I went to save and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. But, um, I, don't know if there's any like dialogue right after this if there is i apologize i'm not sure why it's not saving but i can't get past this screen so unfortunately this is it um i had an issue with my emerald series too afterwards where like it erased the game and i couldn't get into it afterwards um but this is it Thanks. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I managed to beat my hex lock without losing any Pokemon, so um, it's possible, guys. So everyone give him a thumbs up for beating it without anyone dying. I don't know if anybody else has done it with the hex lock yet. I haven't watched anybody else's except for Josh's and Dragon Tamer Blades. I know Dragon Tamer Blade did not win his, and neither did Josh, uh, the fourth gen gamer. And I know, and Dragon Tamer Blade, if you, if you guys don't know, Dragon Tamer Blade is the one who came up with the hex lock idea. So if you, if you guys want to go check him out, I don't know if he's, I haven't seen him put up videos recently, but go check him out anyways, because he's the one who came up with the idea. And so that's why I started playing it, because I, he did it with an X, with X and Y, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I decided to do this put a spin on it by making it a randomizer and randomizing everything items trainer pokemon everything some of them didn't randomize i apologize that for that throughout the series and this is a, bit, a little bit longer outro than normal because you know it's the last episode and it's kind of sad mm. um because it's it's not as sad as my emerald one because my emerald one was like my baby it was my first series i know taylor knows how that is <laughs> not yet you haven't finished it yet, but you know how it is to. Yes, I do know you though. Just haven't recorded the last episode yet because you just. I know, I know, I'm lazy, but that's okay. That's about your series though. By the way, she has an emerald randomizer nuzlocke on her channel. That is awesome. Go check it out. Her channel is a wild chikorita. It's pretty subpar, but you know. No, that's it's, it is not subpar. It's better than mine. <laughs> Shut up, Nathan. <laughs> she may lose more Pokemon than I did, but it's better than mine. Because it's her in it, so. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this series. Um, not long after I get this series up, I will be putting up my first Oros episode. So keep an eye out for that because it's going to be awesome. And yeah, it's going to be it super will be. awesome. Make sure to check it out. It's going to be quick. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but I'm going to make sure I get up my first episode. By the time this goes up, it's probably going to be the Friday morning, this morning, early, early morning. 
just because I want to get it out as soon as possible. But keep an eye out for it. And yeah, if you guys like the video, leave a like. If you're a first time viewer, please subscribe and check out the rest of my videos. Check out a Wild Chikorita's videos and her channel. Go subscribe to her if you haven't. Although if you subscribe to me, you're probably subscribed to her. That's not true. Because she has more subscribers. That's not true either. It is too. You have like 400. Shh, that's besides the point. Anyways, it is besides the point. So this is Tiamat Ruler and a Wild Jigarita signing out. Thank you guys so much for joining us in this episode. I guess I did forget the question of the day, actually. Question of the day. I don't have a question of the day. Do you have a question of the day, Taylor? Something random? Um, how many of you are getting Oris the day it comes out? So, how many of you have gotten Oros today? How many of you are playing Oros right now as this goes up? Yeah. As you're watching this. That's a good question. So, I like that. Thank you, Taylor. Mm -hmm. So now, we're signing out, and I will see you guys in my Oros series. I don't know which one yet. You'll find out as soon as it's up. But <laughs> I'll see you there. And, yeah. Peace, guys. Bye. I have to actually click the stop button. Bye, guys.